render props are the hot new React pattern for building reusable components. You can, you can think of them as dependency injection or inversion of control, depending on which wording you prefer. But the idea is that you have a component that doesn't know how to render anything, and you pass a different component into it that does know how to render something. Basically, the approach is that you build a generic component that handles the logic of your whatever, a drop down or a search bar or something like that. As its property, as one of the props, it accepts another component that says how to render something. That component that tells you how to render accepts more props. Basically what you can do is you can have this generic component that has your logic, pass in a child component, and because the child component is being rendered by the parent component, the parent can, rent, can put props into the child component. That sounds kind of confusing when I explain it like this, but it's really not that bad. We can look at it in some code. And we've actually used this pattern before when we were working with the React context stuff. For a contrived example, let's build an alert on click component. It triggers a hello world alert on any component that we click. Rendered with that. Alert on click component. Instead of knowing it's what it's rendering, it's taking its rendered component from props. And that's one of the patterns people often use. It return render, we pass in all of our props, and we're also going to pass in an onclick handler, which is going to be this dot onclick. Our onclick handler, all it has to do is alert hello world. So we have this generic component now. To render it, we go into our app.js and we say alert on click and our render is going to be the button component. And because buttons also accept labels, we're going to pass that in as a alert high. So we now have an alert high button, triggers an alert. We can also make alert on click even more flexible if we pass in a function. We can create a functional component that takes the on click prop and renders an A tag, on click of on click. The alert shows up and when we click on it, alerts hello world. Our render prop can take anything that functions as a React component. And that's why render props are so great. You essentially get complete reusability of your logic with complete control of rendering by the users of your logic.